evening, YouTube. Melvin, Quan Geekery. Um, and I do have an update on my CTP exam. Uh, certified Treasury Professional. Just giving a summary on what is involved in it. The role of Treasury Management. Environment, banks, institutions, payment instrument systems, money markets, capital markets. It's... it's it's, um, I mean, if you're doing treasury for a long time, a lot of this becomes second nature. Um, what I ended up with and just highlighting that I took this last time I finished this was, okay. So I took the test, um, on the 17th. And I got um, close to 60% right. Uh, it took me a little over two hours out of the three and a half allotted. So just giving that perspective, I finished it uh, literally the day of the exam. And the results, I passed. Uh, I'm not going to give any more detail. Oh, 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 no. Uh, I'm not going to give any additional detail. I give any additional detail than that. Uh, just going to show you guys. So I don't want to keep any extra details. You know, name, uh, CTP, certified treasury professional. The date today, I took it in the Pearson Center and I passed. So I took it, I passed it the first time. I will say my study method um was adapted from Make It Stick. Uh, it's a book about different learning techniques. And one of the aspects of learning is the way that people like learning is not the way that brains are equipped to learn. What this means is the way that people like to learn is also similar to how people like to improve their intelligence. They do the kinds of exercises that uh, give that dopamine rush and it turns out that those are the ones that don't work and the ones that actually do work are the ones that are very hard uh, very challenging uncomfortable in this case I read the source material entirely through one time uh, cover to cover before I did any exercises so I took I read I read the entire uh body of knowledge material. It's a, you know, 700 page book, read it cover to cover, including the glossary terms. So I, I read every single word in the book. Then I took an assessment. The assessment was not great. Um, then I let it lie fallow for a while. Then after several months, I did all of the online materials uh, as far as those chapter reviews. So I did all the chapter reviews and if I, whatever I didn't get right when I took those, I then read through the section, then I took it again. And afterwards, I waited a while, took another assessment, reviewed the questions from the assessment, waited a while, did another, and, and then did a practice exam, which took me right to uh, the day of the exam where I reviewed everything and all that. And then I went in. Uh, the result, I passed. I am currently working as um, a portfolio risk quantitative analysis. So quantitative research analyst, analyst and the area concentration is portfolio risk. Certified treasury professional is not a designation that has much intersection, um, the areas of liquidity risk management um, that goes with the FRM, I mean, that's completely different than what this is. So am I going to renew it? No, probably not. Uh, it is a nice to have, not a need to have. Uh, at this point, my certifications are going in the direction of my field of expertise, which is the CFA designation. So uh, with that in mind, have a great day, and you should see some content more in line with comics and pop culture and economics in the next week or two. Um, there are a lot of things going on at the job.
which is really nice and interesting. Have a blessed one.